Hi, and welcome to my 50 Christmas Crafts in 50 Days series for 2019. I'm Sarah, and I'll be showing you a different Christmas craft each and every day for the next 50 days, and I hope you'll be back for all of them because we'll be having a lot of fun this year. Today, I'm making this adorable salt and pepper set that's perfect to set on your holiday table, buffet, or even give away as a hostess gift. If you like what you see here, please be sure to like, subscribe, and hit that notification button below. If you know anyone that would like this video or my channel, please share this link because every view and every subscriber really helps enable me to keep creating videos for you. If you would like to follow me on Instagram, I share all my latest projects as well as some of the things we have going on in our life. I also have a Facebook group for anyone out there who enjoys crafting and would like to share their projects with others. You can also visit my blog where I post a lot of things you won't see here on my channel. You can find the links for these in the description below. Today, what we're going to make is a salt and pepper set and holder. And what we're going to use is mostly Dollar Tree products. Um, I have the salt and pepper shakers that came from Dollar Tree, some of the Tumbling Towers blocks, and I just pulled out all the natural ones for this, and some popsicle sticks, craft sticks, whatever you want to call them. Now, this, these ones in particular did not come from Dollar Tree because I ran out of theirs. These are a little bit larger than their standard ones, but you can absolutely use a Dollar Tree product if you want. All right, so the first thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to take six of the Tumbling Towers blocks, and we are going to glue those together, and I'm just using some wood glue that I have on hand. I don't really have a specific like or dislike on wood glues to give you. I think they all work pretty much the same and this project is not going to require um, super strength so to speak to get everything to hold together. Okay. And then we are going to glue these together as well. All right, and to be sure these stay nice and tightly formed, I'm just gonna put a rubber band around them. This is just a hair tie, nothing fancy, but it will just hold those together so they don't accidentally move apart. All right, now we wait for those to dry. Now that these are all glued together, what we are going to do is go ahead and add some side posts to make our little um, crate. So we're just going to use a little more glue, and we're just going to stand these right up in the very corners. All right, now I'm going to let this set up for... Now that I have my tumbling tower pieces glued together, what I'm going to do is I'm going to set it up on end, and I'm going to lay out one of my popsicle sticks and then I'm just going to line another one up here for a straight edge and I'm going to draw where I want to cut these. Alright, and in the end what I want to do is I want to cut four of them in this size for the top and bottom to make my crates. And then I decided just to add a little bit of fun, I'm going to use some of these skinny sticks which I picked up at Walmart and cut one the same size as each of these. So I will have in total four cut to fit the size of the, the wide ones and two to cut to size for the skinny ones. 
Okay, now to cut these perfectly straight, I'm just going to use my little craft saw that I picked up at Hobby Lobby and my little miter box. Now that I have all my little pieces cut here, what I'm going to do is I'm going to lay them out and I'm going to glue them. So this is directly on the bottom. This one is directly on the top. And then the skinny one will be in the middle just to add a little bit of contrast. Okay, So that will be glued in right about there. All right, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to use my wood glue, but I'm also going to use a couple just tiny dabs of hot glue just to hold them in place so we can keep going. Alright, so there's one side. I'm just going to flip it over and do the same to the other. Alright, now I'm going to move on and do the same thing with the long sides. And there is a reason that I did the short sides first, is they will be less viewable if they are not cut quite to length. And when I cut the front sides then, I will take into consideration the length of these popsicle sticks as I'm going around so they will cover out to the outside edges of these craft sticks as well. All right, and for some reason I wasn't taping when I started, so I'll show you what I'm I'm doing here. I have some just deco art Americana paint and honey brown. It's just a warm brown color. I'm just taking a very wet brush and I'm wetting the paint down with some water so that I can go onto my crate and give it a light stain. Um, and watering this down just helps give it more of a stain effect. It's not heavy like a paint would be. So we're just getting into all these nooks and crannies. There we go. And then I'm just going to go in with a rag and I'm just going to wipe it back off. Because what we want is some of that grain to show through. All right, just like that. It's that simple and it dries really quickly this way. So I'm just going to go around and finish the inside and the outside of the crate and then we'll be ready to decorate the crate for Christmas. Now for the salt and pepper shakers, I'm going to use Waverly chalk paint and I'm using this in crimson and moss. And what we're going to do is just paint a couple, probably two or three coats onto our salt and pepper shakers and let that dry in between coats.
after the first coat. We're going to let this dry and then we're going to move on and add one more coat because you can still see that this is um, still pretty sparse on the glass in some spaces. All right, and now that these are dry, what we're going to do is distress them a little bit. And all you need to use is a little bit of sandpaper. And I am going to go ahead and just use this bit off of my um, palm sander. Just sand this down a little bit. All right, and there you go. You just have a very light variation, variegation in our paint. Pulling just a little bit off, kind of give it that age distress look. It's so popular right now. Isn't this crate just turning out adorable? I absolutely love this. Now it's time to move on and decorate the crate. And to do that, I'm going to be using just a little bit of this garland I picked up from Dollar Tree. One of these little um, balls that I picked up at in the garden section. And I'll be using some of these little tiny... Um, pine cones, just one of them that I picked up and I I think it was in the garden section a little bit earlier with the fall stuff, but I'm sure they'll have some available with the Christmas decorations as well. All right, and I also have just a little bit of floral wire to hold everything together with. This did not come from Dollar Tree, but you can get floral wire at Dollar Tree. Okay, and I just need a couple little pieces of the greenery. There we go. I'm going to pull out one of these little, I don't know, raffia balls? They're not raffia. I'm wick, wicker? I, I'm not sure what they're made out of. And I just need one little pine cone. And I'll decide what size I want once I get to that point. And these, I'm just going to twist just together like that. And it's just basically twisted them around each other. There's not a lot to that. And then what we need to do is just fill in the greenery with this little ball and a couple little, I think I'm going to go with the really tiny pine cones on either side of it. Okay, and I was going to use the wire to wire thing together, but I think now I'm just going to go with hot glue. Stick that on there and then let's get these little pine cones. There we go. Alright, and then with this, all we need to do is just adhere this to the front of our little crate. And I think we're just going to trim down this edging, or this uh, greenery right here, because it does stick up quite a bit. Alright, I think that looks pretty good. 
All right, and now all we need to do is hot glue this just to the front of our little crate. And just a little more trimming if you feel that anything more needs trimmed off. And then it's time to stick the salt and pepper shakers in. All right, here it is, our finished little country Christmas style salt and pepper shakers. It'll look adorable sitting on your holiday table or buffet. And what an adorable um, gift for a coworker or a hostess gift. It is so easy to make. There is almost no money involved. And it will be something that will be appreciated and used for years to come. I hope you guys enjoyed this today. I will be back tomorrow with another craft for you. Bye-bye. If you liked this video, please be sure to hit that like button as well as share it with friends who may also enjoy it. If you like my channel, hit that subscribe button and when the notification bell pops up, be sure you hit that as well so you never miss a video. And as always, have a great day and stay crafty.